Hello, welcome back to my series on Elite Dangerous. In this video I thought I would cover the differences in ships and the jump ranges etc. Um, look in the description of this video and the exact jump ranges, well not the exact but the jump ranges for each ships will be listed. These are a pretty rough approximation um, that I've either got myself by buying the ship and, and looking at the different jump ranges or admittedly the last two which is the lake on type 9 and the anaconda i've had to basically um look on the internet and forums to to try and find out the distances of um of those ships but as i say look in the description and you'll get that information right basically um every ship has a different jump radius that it's capable of doing now something like a smart a sidewinder has quite a small jump radius and something like this type 6 transporter has some has quite a large radius now these um, radiuses can all be affected regarding um, what items you're carrying in your hold and what equipment you have fitted to your ship so if the equipment you have fitted to your ship is quite heavy and you're carrying a lot of cargo this is essentially going to put your jump range down by a considerable amount now at the minute if I go into the outfit and you can see I've got absolutely nothing fitted to this ship at the minute it's a lake on type 6 uh, I'm just using this purely as a, as a reference to show you so as you can see we've got no equipment fitted there um, if I go in the co commodities market um, rather look at my hold using the UI panels you can see I've got absolutely no cargo on my hold right so if I go into starport services and look at one of the the missions via the bulletin board it's very handy in the respect that a delivery mission will give you your details of your current radius and how far you need to go um, so if I find something like that you can see there at the moment it says to do this mission I need a jump radius of 5.5 light years currently the ship is capable of jumping 29 light years now this is currently jumping this distance because I do not have any cargo on board and I do not have any equipment applied whatsoever so if I bear that number in mind 29 light year radius if I then go back and say go into the commodity market and fill up with something let's see fish so I'll fill up with them and buy that if I then go back to the bulletin board and look at that delivery mission or any delivery mission you can see uh, now that I've got a full hold I've instantly dropped down from the tw whatever the the last radius 27 light year or 29 light radius light year radius was I've now dropped down to 15.78 light years so that's almost halved um, the radius that I'm now capable of jumping because I've filled the ship up with with goods if I then go um, Obviously bear in mind we're now talking a, f a 15 light year radius if I then go back to my um, Outfitting and just start fitting equipment you can see here that Equipment has a weight now you can see there this class 1 burst laser which is gimbaled weighs 4 tons so if I then start buying these and fitting these to my ship I mean I, I know that's not the same laser but it doesn't really matter it's just to highlight the fact that the more equipment I put on so we'll put um, say heatsink launcher on there and utility mounts let's say a cargo scanner on there so okay that's obviously added equipment onto a ship comp in in conjunction with what we've got in the hold so now if we come back into um, the bulletin board and look at that delivery mission again we can see that where well, radius has gone down yet again now this is obviously as I've said because of the equipment that we've put onto our ship um, so I just thought I'd make a really quick video to highlight this and make people aware that um, carrying large amounts of cargo and even the equipment that you fit to your ship will have an effect on the radius you're able to jump to um, another thing I thought I'd quickly mention just in case people aren't aware of it I'm sure the majority of people are but if you go into your galaxy map 
um, you can see at the minute in the navigation tab um, the blue lines indicate um, where I'm capable of jumping to with um, full cargo now you can put the slider at the bottom down so if I slide that down the blue lines will now be shown where I'm capable of jumping to with maximum cargo and the grey lines will show where I'm capable of jumping to with no cargo so obviously if I put this down to zero that means shows where I'm capable of jumping to with an empty hold so you can see there instantly that you know the lines are representing the coloured lines are representing the range of, of where I can and can't go depending on whether I'm maxed out with cargo um, so I just thought I'd mention that as well so yeah as I say um, be mindful of, of, of stuff that you buy and how much cargo in your cargo you're carrying um, this can result in you being stranded um, you might jump to a, a certain particular star and get there because you've had no cargo and then you may buy cargo that you decide you want to take somewhere else and then realize that you can't jump there with a full cargo hold um, because the distance is obviously the, the, the distance is the same but because you now weigh more you can't actually jump the same distance um, so you know that would result in you having to either uh, not take a full load of cargo or if you had weapons or equipment fitted you would have to look and and be mindful of that and maybe decide on removing weapons and equipment so um there you go as i say it's just a quick guide to to let people know to be mindful of it um as i say there will be um uh, description uh, uh, ship ranges in the descriptions so people can have a look in in there and see what the approximate ranges of these ships are Okay, I hope you like what you've seen. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.